Hey guys, it's me Richard again. Um, I haven't decided on a book, but I have a topic for the day. I read this in my devotional, and the book I'm reading, Love Does, it really just speaks about love, so I want to talk about just love for this video, and that plays into the two primary commands. This is in Matthew 22, verses 34 through 40. And so this comes off the Sadducees and the uh, resurrection. Jesus says, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac. And you say, hey, Robert. Hey. This is my nephew, Robert. He's seven years old. You want to sit? You want to sit in during this video? All right. You want to sit up here? All right. Okay. Robert's going to be joining us. So maybe he'll learn something. All right. So. It says in verse 34, Matthew 22, verse 34, it says, When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they came together, and one of them, an expert in the law, asked a question to test him. Teacher, which command, Stop there, please. Which command in the law is the greatest? He said to him, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important command. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commands. So, you might say, like, well, these aren't in the Ten Commandments, so wh wh why? Why aren't they? Well, don't really know why, but here we're listed that... You're going to have to get situated somehow. But somehow, during... All this craziness that's going on in Jesus' time. This question comes up. So which commandment is the most important? So you have the Ten Commandments. All ten equal sin if you break them. But these two say, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And then love your neighbor as yourself. The basis of our relationship with Christ is love. God loves us so much that He sent His only Son to die for our sins. If that's not love, I don't know what it is. I don't know about y'all, but I don't know if I could give, even though He's my nephew, I don't know if I could give Robert up to die for the sins of the world. I don't know if I could give myself up for that. But God sent His one and only Son to die on the cross. For God so loved the world that He gave His Son. And Jesus explains right here, the two greatest commandments are love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and then love your neighbor as yourself. The law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. So uh, us as followers of Christ, us as people that seek to build a great relationship with Christ, our basis should be love. Because... If you're loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and you're loving your neighbor as yourself, you are following God's will. You are following God's commandments. You are following God just doing those things. Because if you love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and your mind, you're doing everything for Him. You're eating food for Him. You are spreading His gospel for Him. You are posting on social media for Him. Everything you do is for the glory of God if you love Him with all your heart, soul, and mind. And if you love somebody that much, you're obeying them. You're going out and making disciples of all nations. You're following the Great Commission. You're following Christ. You're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> love is such a twisted thing these days. People fall in love just like that. And it's a choice. You, you choose to love someone. You, but you can't make anybody love you. Love is such a contorted thing, it's such a twisted thing in today's world <laughs> that we forget what true love is. <laughs> true love is God. Without God, there is no love because He loved us enough to put us on his er this earth. He loved us enough to send His Son to die for us. And all in return, He asks that we just put our faith in His Son pick your nose please so to close I just want to say this 
There's a lot of crazy things going on in the world right now. It's like one big episode of a series of unfortunate events. But don't lose sight of who God is during this time. And don't lose sight of love, kindness, peace. Because the two greatest commandments are love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And if you follow those two commandments, you'll be in the favor of the Lord. So I just wanted to challenge each of you to reflect on how you've loved and who you've loved and how you've loved and why you've loved. And really just sit on that. Think about it. Because love is love is everything. Love is patient, love is kind. The Lord God gave us his son through love. So, I love you guys. Um hopefully I'll have a book picked out. If not, we're just going to do topical stuff because topics like love are fun, peace, humility, Stuff like that. If y'all have any ideas, something y'all want to hear, let me know. Hit me up. Send me a message, um, a comment. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all have a good one. Say bye.